Drive World has just updated, so let's check it out. Heading into the shop and looking at the new cars, they actually haven't added any new cars in the shop. To actually be able to see the car, you don't go to new cars. I think they're going to fix this, but this is the new car right here. This car without a V12, which with a V12, it makes acceleration really bad. It's a really low score. This doesn't really seem like it's going to be usable in any restrictions. And here are the customizations for it. And if you head into the paint area, you can see that they have completely changed this. And now it shows more colors over here. And you can see all of the wraps over here and change all your panel selections over here. And they changed where the exhaust effects are. So you have to head into the paint area to be able to change these now. And this truck is able to get around 200 miles per hour, but it's really not even worth it to use this car. And heading into the quest, you can see they added a brand new microbus called the Megabus. And they've also added a new wrap and a new exhaust effect. To start off, I'll show you all the barn locations. I'll start off with the hardest one. You want to first go on top of the dealership. And jump over to the new garage area over here. You want to go up on the dealership. And jump up onto the garage over here. There we go, and you can see the part right at the end. So it's actually not a barn, you have to go on top of this building and you can break it. And while we're here, this is the new garage area. But if you go into garage, it hasn't changed yet. I'm not sure if they're going to change it at all. And as you can see, heading into here, it actually doesn't bring up the prompt to change your car. But it's called Drive World Customs. And as you can see, it shows a lot of the wraps in here. Moving on to the next barn in the bottom left, if you go over to Highlands Track, or Drag Strip, doesn't matter. You can see the barn down here in the ocean. Now on to the next one in this field, if you go over to Tunnel Sprint. You will see the barn right over here. Now onto the one in Mountain Town, head over to this race right here, figure eight. And you will see the barn right over here. And to get the next barn, you can just head right over here and this is the fastest way to get both of these barns. And that's how you get the rat rod. And if I head over back to spawn, you can see that they have updated the cars over names. So it's a different font now. And also going to the currency tab, you can see that they have updated this as well. And with the new garage, they actually removed the old one over here and put in a different building. And now with that, let's go and grind all these weekly challenges and check out the new rainbow exhaust effect and this new wrap.
And there we go, we have finished all the weekly challenges. And now let's collect them and check out this new wrap and new exhaust effect. And check out the best car in the game, the Megabus. First off, this is what Jewel looks like. Uh, it's kind of ugly. Uh, it gives the same feel as the Golden Weave does. So really, I wouldn't be using this on any cars. And the other thing that came in the weeklies is the rainbow exhaust effect. Which, this uses nitrous instead of backfire. As you can see, it's not a backfire effect either. And changing it actually doesn't change the color at all. And here's what it looks like. It looks pretty cool, but I wouldn't be using this over glow lines or smoke. As I think those are better than this. And now on to the car. We have the Mega Bus. And look at how beautiful this is. And now let's upgrade it and check out the customizations. And you can choose if you want the stock engine or the V12, as the V12 is slower acceleration but a higher top speed. And here are the customizations for it. And there actually isn't any new accessories that go on to this car. And while we're here, if you go into license plate, you can see that they added some of the license plate from the license plate competition. So you have some more options for that, but they're still missing some, so I think they're going to add them later. And at max, it has a score of 1,296 and a horsepower of 1,303. And the top speed of it is around 300 miles per hour. It's kind of hard to get to this speed, and whenever you get past it, it starts to drop a lot. And with that being said, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this update, and I'll see you in the next video.